Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com and in this video, I'm gonna do a review for you on the new Content Gorilla 2.0. Now, the original version of this product launched last year in 2019, around June or July. I've been using it ever since the original and this new update has a lot of new features that many of you are gonna like if you wanna create high quality WordPress posts or content that can automatically be syndicated uh, to your WordPress websites to create some really amazing content. And it does this by taking the transcription of the YouTube video itself and allowing you to even further edit it, add images to it, uh, add heading titles, anything like that. Uh, and then automatically post it to your WordPress site. So this is an amazing tool, especially for you guys that uh, have my WP Affiliate Suite uh, WordPress themes or the YT Evolution themes or any other WordPress websites where you just want to create really good content for it. So what I'm going to do in this video is take you inside, show you exactly how all this works, how you can post it to your websites. I'm going to go over the features here on the left hand side. Uh, before I do, I want to mention below this video, I have a link that will take you to my website where uh, you can get all the details of all the features on the site just in case I happen to uh, skip over them or miss them in this video. Uh, you're also going to learn about the upsells on there, the pricing. They're, they are going to have some discounts going on during launch week and some coupon codes, so be sure to grab those for my site before you purchase. And then there's going to be a bonus on there as well that I'm going to be offering. Uh, probably several bonuses that you guys can pick up if you happen to buy Content Gorilla 2.0 through my website. So this is the dashboard of Content Gorilla. The first thing you want to do is come over here and click download plugin. This is going to let you download the WordPress plugin. You want to go to your WordPress site where you want it to post content to, upload the plugin to, and activate it. And once you do that, you're going to come over here and click on your sites. You're going to click on add website and when you do that you just fill in this information here such as your website title the url and your username and password and as long as you have that wordpress plugin installed on the site it will connect with it and then once it does it'll show it listed right here you can see i have three websites uh, listed here now once you do this you can go back to your dashboard and there's there's several ways you can do this because in this new version of content gorilla they have a, uh, some new auto posting features that you can even schedule so it will automatically take videos based on keywords and uh, upload them as wordpress posts to your site or if you're like me and if you're trying to build like an authority site you can use this to build really good high quality wordpress articles for product reviews for informational videos or anything else and let me just give you an example. Let's say you're gonna do a, a product review, um, or not a product review, let's just say you wanna make a post on your website about affiliate marketing. So let's just do uh, how to make money affiliate marketing. And if you don't want this term, you can click any of these others that auto come uh, populates here. I'm just gonna leave it like this. You can order it by relevance, recent, most viewed. And then you can also choose the license if you want Creative Commons or any, I usually just use any and click search. Okay, so here's some videos that show up that we can use and we can keep going next page um, to view more of them if we want. Now, a few things that I wanna point out here that I've learned from posting a lot of these types of uh, videos to my site is that some of these YouTube channels, they add their own transcription to their video. So they will have them edited and they will look really nice. And so, for example, if we were to go here and click on create post, let's say we want to take this video and turn it into a post, we can do that. And you can see the time right here. It says this video is 19 minutes and 35 seconds long. So what we can take from this is that it's going to have a really long transcript. So it's going to take all the audio from the video and turn it into text. So the longer the video is, the longer the content's going to be, the longer article you're going to have for your WordPress website. And so we can click on create post and give it a minute. And another thing I wanna mention while this is loading is that when you use this type of content on your website, for the majority of the videos you use, most people don't take content like this that's taken, extracted from a video's audio and use it as content on their website, which means it's gonna be pretty unique content uh, if nobody else is using it for their website, which means it's gonna rank well also. So what we can do here now, we can see this is the video, this is the title, and over here is the post title. And obviously you wanna change this to whatever you want it to be, whatever you wanna rank for. 
you can tick this box for keyword settings. You can enter keywords here that you want bolded, um, italic, underline. You can replace keywords. So for certain text in this article that you want to replace, you can type in what text it is and replace it with whatever. Maybe it's a link. Maybe it's about a product. Maybe it's a person's name, uh, whatever. And so down here, you can see how this article actually looks really good. It's all split up. Um, because we use the term make money online, it picked out an image uh, that's for Bitcoin. So this isn't highly relevant with it. And you, you don't have to have this in here. You can, you can come in here and you can edit anything in here. You can delete stuff, you can add stuff, uh, just like you would in a normal WordPress editor. But you can see here that it's a ton of content. And clear at the bottom, I have it set up where what it will, what it will do is also have a link going to another post on my website. And this is huge for internal linking for SEO. So what I can do from here is I can come up here and if I wanted to, uh, I can edit this. I can take out this little dash. I can come down here and say, uh, make money online, whatever you want to put here. We can highlight it. And there's different options you can use here. For example, you can change the headings of it. You can change uh, the size of the text if you want. Bold, underline, italicize. You can use uh, just simple heading one and two right here bullet points so it's just like a normal editor and so what you'd want to do especially if you're creating a high authority website is to go through this article that's already been created for you create some subtitles for it make sure you structure it properly using header two header threes and just do that all the way through add a few images and then once you are done doing that you can see here you have options where you can add the images and add punctuation, but you can also spin the content if you want. Now, if you're creating a high authority website, I don't recommend you spin it because the text should be already good, especially if it's formatted like this and it looks so good. So once all this is done and you're ready, you can come up here to featured image. Uh, before we do that, you can also download the content. So if you click this, you can download all this content in a text file or PDF to use it for whatever you want to. Uh, but next you wanna click on featured image and this is the image that it pulls from the YouTube thumbnail. You can change that right here with your own. You can add tags to it, change the tags, and these will be posted as tags on your WordPress post. And if you have the, I believe it's OTO number one upsell, which I highly recommend, it's gonna give you a lot of additional options uh, that you may not have if you don't pick it up that I'm showing you. And so for the syndication, what you can do is you can add images here to upload for your social syndication if you have them integrated. Right now you can see here that, that I do have one social account set up for Twitter. So I can select that here, put include post link. And then what we can do is go to publish and we can choose the website. So you remember here we have our sites added. We can choose here which website we wanna publish it to the status of it, if we want draft, regular, the categories, it automatically pulls the categories from our WordPress website so we can choose which ones we wanna publish it to. And we can include the featured image. Uh, I'm not gonna do that on this site, but we can include also the videos, so we're gonna do that. But you can see down here at the bottom, it says the post already exists on my website. So I've already actually added this post or done it automatically where I had it set up with the scheduler. So if I go to my website, this is the site that I use where I import all of my videos automatically uh, using YT Evolution. So it imports my entire YouTube channel. And then what I've done the past couple of days is I came over here and set up a scheduler to auto post some of these to my channel. And you can see here where it's posted three of them already in the past few days. And this is the one that uh, we're working on right now. And if we open it up, you're gonna see here that there's the video and here is all the content now i obviously didn't go in here and edit anything add subtitles or anything like that which i highly recommend that you do and you can see where it imported all the tags of the video as tags for the post and it even added a link down here to my next article to help with interlinking for seo purposes so an easy way to really create some good content now what i want to show you though is that most of the posts that you create they're not going to be formatted like this they're not going to look this good so let's go back to our dashboard here real quick and let's just do another one make money online we'll just do a quick search uh, let's just take this one right here we'll do create post and if they didn't add their own transcript to the video uh, which figures this one did actually let's go back try another one and I'll show you what it looks like uh, let's just try this one 
this is what you're going to get most of the time it looks like this here so you're going to have to do a lot of editing yourself since they didn't upload their own transcript which was formatted like the other videos were now what you can do is click on add punctuation here and it's going to automatically go through and edit a lot of this itself add commas add periods uh, and do a lot of the punctuation to save you a lot of the time and there's also a button down here where you can correct grammar errors and it will try to fix most of those for you too it's not hundred percent perfect you're still going to have to go in there and edit some of this up but it's a lot of content that you wouldn't have for a WordPress post that's hopefully going to help you rank really good. Now, before I forget to mention this, up here you see where it says select language. This is really neat because by default it's set on English and you can change this to whatever you want to. And when you change it, it automatically converts everything here into that language. So if we select this drop down and let's say we want to do uh, Spanish, I can click that and it's going to take all this text and we'll give it a minute here and it's going to convert it all into Spanish and it actually broke it up into different paragraphs which was kind of neat you can see here uh, the title it does not change so you'd have to change this to whatever title you want to which is probably something you'd want to do anyways but you can do that in all these languages I'll just kind of scroll through here so you can see what languages are available but if you look most languages I think that you'd want to use are going to be in here now, if you want to know for sure which of these options you're going to be able to use and not use depending on the one-time offers or upsells you get, be sure to visit those on my website. Now, I want to try to quickly go through some of these other options over here. Um, so let's go to bulk post. This is neat and this is a new feature in the version 2.0 and it lets you add multiple posts to your website. So what you can do is select the website you want to add the post to. You can choose your language, whether you want um, any license, Creative Commons, you're going to enter some keywords, and then how many posts you want up to 10, uh, how far apart you want them to spread apart, and then whether you want them to be listed as publish or draft, the categories, if you want them syndicated, and then additional settings such as if you wanted to spin it before it posts, if you want to include the videos, or even include video attribution and footers in the link. You can do all that here, schedule posts, and it's gonna automatically start doing all that and publishing them to your site. Then the scheduler, this is what I have set up for three of my websites right now to do one post every day. The next ones are set to do in six hours from now. This is really easy to do too. You just click on add new and you go through and set it up the same way you did with the bulk post, but with this one, it schedules it. And so you can have it scheduled to do, uh, well, let me just show you here real quick. If we go in here, we can do um, we can do like one post every one day, two days, all the way down to 15 days apart. So we could even do uh, 10 posts every say 10 days if you wanted to. But for me, I like to keep it consistent. Just do like one post every day. Now there's also an article rewriter. This is a built-in rewriter. As with most of them, they're not perfect, but it's okay if you don't have access to spin rewriter, you just paste your text in here and you can choose how much you want it to spin. Uh, readability spins at the least. That's where you want it to be is in the middle. If you want it uniqueness, you can do this, but it's gonna be a lot less readable. And then you could also have an editor where you can use to rewrite it. Post later. Uh, these are videos that you can mark to post later in this section, I don't have any. You got your integrations here. This is where you can integrate soon for Facebook. They don't have it yet, but soon you'll be able to use uh, the Facebook page or groups. And hopefully this will be available before the launch happens here in a few days. Twitter, you can see where I have mine connected. You can also link it up to LinkedIn. And if you didn't know with LinkedIn, you can actually create pages there too, which can have some pretty powerful backlinks that you can use. And then in your settings, this is where you're gonna add your YouTube API and you have some other options. If we scroll on down here, where you can set up for uh, fetching automatic images for your post. And like I showed you earlier, it's not always 100% consistent with the article itself. So you wanna uh, make sure you look at the articles before you post it. Auto punctuate, add attribution, uh, text after the post, just to kind of give credit back to the YouTube author or creator. Internal link posting, I recommend this. This is a really neat feature. Uh, to show pagination number of videos displayed on the home page, you can choose how many are videos you want to show there and then default spinning setting for spinning your content. So this is really all the settings you have here. Uh, down here is just basically all your support stuff and your profile information. But this is the new Content Gorilla 2.0. It is an amazing tool for creating content for your websites, whether you want to just take all that content, 
and use it for whatever purpose you want maybe even using it for your YouTube description content you can do that uh, or for creating high quality content or just creating unique content uh, really quickly that you want to add uh, post for your website you can do that too so a really good tool also this is this is a tool that's by Neil Napier and if you guys don't know him um, he is a very solid vendor and he he maintains his products I've been using a lot of his products for a very long time uh, he has his own teams that maintains these keeps them updated like I said this is version 2 of this the first one came out about a year and a half ago uh, and I've been using it ever since a great tool uh, they also offer great support so that's my review for Content Gorilla. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to click the link under this video to visit my website for the full details of the upsells and the pricing and the bonuses. Uh, you can also subscribe to my channel to be notified of future videos. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can.